off attack with all of them. I dare you. I dare you. Cool. So I guess response we will Yeah, we'll take that. No blocks. Strike you. Strike you. Oh, it's just, we got so many different ways of doing this. We got to get our, our challenge done, right? Good game. How's it going, everybody? Titans fan 920 here with some more Gruel Mid Range. We're going to try to climb up this ladder a little bit. We are in gold two right now, I think. Uh, hopefully, we can get a little bit closer to platinum here. I've not been playing all that much, but the win rate's been pretty good with this deck. Uh, I still love this deck right now. It's going super well. Uh, but this is what I'm rocking right now for the time being. Let's jump into Constructed and see what we can do. We'll play a little traditional rank, Gruel Mid Range. So let's go. And our first victim of the day, Domestic Cactus. Didn't know you could domesticate cactuses, but that's good to know. Opening hand, not too bad. We'll be looking for one more land, but we got a strike and a Zertile on two to play. No land of Warriors, which is always sad, but we'll see what we can do. We hope to go Zerta into Domri here. Hmm. So the fact that they got green here makes me think it could be a mirror match, and usually you want to have the bigger creatures here, so I'm actually going to just put a counter on this. Because i got a feeling if it's green, more than likely... Okay, so Golgari, perhaps. So here we'll go ahead and play a Domri. If they want to remove this in response, that's fine. You want our style? You got it. Let's go ahead, swing first. Go cast down. Fine, fine, fine. We'll add us. Add us mana just to, just to have him ticked up some. We get to land next turn, we can start him, which will be really fun. Dobry, okay. We don't need this lightning strike too bad. That sucks. Um, But still, we can haste out a Spellbreaker. And then put down a land of Orioles. So, this has been a waste of my with the Davriel is interesting. At least with this, if we don't kill our land warriors, we can Sark in the next turn. The Sark in this turn would have been just phenomenal. So, glad we kept that lightning strike. But we don't have to use it now. So now the plan is we actually make us a dragon, have it fight Hostage Taker. We'll make this fight here. Just a clean trade <laughs> for us. And, and then, I guess we want to start swinging here. And this next turn, if he doesn't do anything, just super answer us. Yeah, that's, that ain't gonna be enough for him. Evan, you can't stop nature. Hydroid Crisis is gonna be a little bit late to this party here. But just for this... Yeah. Oh, come on, bro. Didn't even let us leave the phone. Uh, so for this, two Lava Kill will come in. Uh, a Ferrix is probably decent here, especially with the discard. Um, Viv might be alright here. I think that's about it for the time being. The Harpooner could be good. Uh, but I don't think we need to worry about that too much for right now. And then... I don't think we had Rhythm of the Wild. As far as what we take out, I didn't see any sweepers on his end. Collision's going to be good there. And since we're going bigger, we probably want to keep the land of war elves in as well. So I almost think we just take the Zartas out and call it. The Grove Chamber Guardians could be annoying, but I think we'll leave those in there for the time being. Interesting build. It's like a weird version of Soul I've not seen. But let's see what the cactus got for us in game two.
that's a pretty good hand. We'll keep that. Threats for days. Would love to draw that fair, except he keeps that Dofriel in here, though. Wouldn't mind seeing a land where at the top. Turn one Spellbreaker or Legion War Boss are both pretty damn good. Well, good, Walker. Buddy, I said to come in, like, last turn, not this turn, okay? That's not how this works. So if he starts exploring here, it's going to be real annoying, real fast. For the time being, nothing too bad. Uh, here, I think we just play... Hmm. Yeah, I guess we just play the war boss, right? Start going wide on him here a little bit. Lost his taker, so we'll really be looking for a piece of removal here. Which, that ain't it. So I guess here we'll spell breaker, make a big spell breaker. We're land of war elves. Oh god. What, what you doing, Joby? No attack here, past the turn. Next turn, we can still put down a Sarkin. And we may just have to be end up flying over him here, which is kind of annoying. The War Boss really isn't all that great against us, at least, which is nice. Okay, so the strike is a little bit late to the party, but it is what it is. Um, I don't even think I care about the War Boss too much right now. Like this, the dragon this makes is going to be pretty nice for us. Who are you so let's do a little bit of this. <laughs> we'll hold this back for now. I, want, I don't want him to have like an easy lane to attack into this, and if he tries to attack us with his tokens from the war boss, that's not going to be very good. Life gain here will be really annoying. That will die. I will consume you. Okay, so we can fly in here for nine, or sorry, for eight. Uh, so let's go ahead. Let's I go and attack for eight you. first. That's still a pretty big swing. Then we will place a big boy spell breaker. One one counter. And then we got this lightning strike held up for we also play that hostage taker. So what's he gonna try to take here? He should take our dragon if he's smart. But he ain't. Yes, yeah, this one. Would hate to like strike the wrong one. So no takeies for you. And that does nothing there. Listen to them roar. And then, oof. So this one should be really good. Place a war boss. Let's go to attacks here. To the skies. We can probably pump whatever else we need to to get bigger with Colossus. Let's see what we got. So we want to kill so the Jade Light would be the most trample damage we get through. Right now we're getting through 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So that's just lethal. So let's just go ahead and and we'll pump. I wish this showed better where. Actually, is that lethal? 1, 2. He's blocking there. He's blocking there. 
4, 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we just need to get the one point of damage through. So we'll do it on this one. Oh, my math was wrong. Even still, I, I can't imagine we're in too bad of a spot here. Um, the only thing that can really screw us up is a finality. So we'll gain some life here. Will it be enough though? Is he going to hostage take? Yeah, he should be. He should be taking the drag, which is smart. Hmm. So from here, damn, really pissed that I kind of, kind of threw that a little bit. We have, he has one, two, three, four, five attackers. I have one, two, three, four. Is that, still, is that just going to be enough though? One, two, three, four, five. So that's not quite enough there. Let's just make a dragon for the time being. Your end has arrived. Leave back blockers. I didn't live through hell. To we'll plus Viv. Balance comes. And we'll find us a Phoenix, which will be let me see the battlefield real quick. Yeah. I think Phoenix will be the play here. We'll send that, leave the rest. He's going to gain six life next turn, which is super frustrating, but he still is down to two cards. A Domri off the top would be superb. See what he's got. That another jade light, super annoying. And a little sound glitch there. Whoopsie daisy. He's got one. Okay, I guess he knows the end was near there. And we'll take that. Let's have us another, shall we? Man, these kill your 25, 25 of your opponent's creatures ones are rough. Let's see what we got, Graham. Hopefully it's a Graham outcome for you. <laughs> get it because his name is Graham and Graham would be like oh no things didn't go my way so no green source here is a little concerning but on the draw with the, uh, we just need really one green source we'll be good to go we're gonna keep this we, we play 16 of each source here so we should be good to hit one at some point I would think right off the bat if this is Esper control or something like that or the Azorius control has been going around we've probably got a kind of slow hand for it but okay so some Bant mid-range looks like which is a super fun deck. Air chamber's good. Okay, we are hopefully about to not get punished too bad by this this keep. This is kind of a nightmare start for us here. Super, super drawn on with top end cards. Okay, incubation of Druids, they won't adapt, which is good for us. Wow. And that's game there. So maybe he'll just think we're a shitty mono red deck or something. Unlucky. But it was a risky keep, so we can't be too upset. Uh, for here, well, two Shivan Fires will come in. They'll take care of the Druid and the uh, Grow Chamber Guardian. Uh, Lava Cool is probably good. Let's see here. Rhythm might even be good here, honestly. But they have that not really they have so much enha enchantment hate. As far as what's not good here, uh, time wipe just kind of wrecks us, so that won't be very good. And da, 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 da. I guess glit. Well, no, they played they played Hydroid Crisis. I've not played against this deck more than like maybe one time. Uh, 
Let's actually take the Earth Tremor Guardians out, because this is going to be a little bit too slow for us, I believe. And maybe two Vivs coming? It's kind of an attrition war, so we want to just get the, the best value we can here. But let's see what they got. Maybe they sideboarded in like we're mono red. Uh, this hand is slow, but actually has lands. We'll still lead off with the mountain here, so they don't know much. We'll play this, and we will go ahead and lava cool here. We don't want them ramping into anything too big. This next turn, we'll throw down Viv. And usually I'd minus here, but considering that we he has that Grow Chamber Guardian now, we don't want to die quite yet. So we'll actually just plus it for the time being. Tear it down! Tear it all down! Let's see what we can do this next turn. He's a thinking. So I'm guessing it's probably Deputy of Detention coming down. Yep, it was on. Would you like to see what's left of us? All things begin and end in nature. Ah! Strike right, me so and you strike nature. Let's go ahead and go down on this. Look now. You can still walk away. Jesus Christ. So I guess from here, we... So I'm going to want a Colossus here, which is super annoying. Let's pay the two life. This is kind of a weird play, but we'll see if it works out in our favor. If he has something like a Frilled Mystic that just eats us alive, and we're probably done anyway. We've just done, we've done a whole lot of nothing in this game. Awkward draws. But you'll have that sometimes. There is wonder in a blade of grass. He's thinking. So he doesn't have deputy mana or er, frill mystic mana up, which is good. Let's cast this boy in there. Pass the blockers. Let's go to damage. Let's see if he does anything in response. And he'll probably still adapt here, so that way it's still just a clean trade off where he still gets a creature. But if he wants to eat this and just have it die, I'm totally cool with that. So everybody gonna die here, he'll get a creature. This next turn we can put a Sarkin down and hope that it is enough. Showing all the lines. So we could plus this actually to take care of his Vivian, which might just be better. So let's let's do that actually. Might demands power. Seen puppies whine less so than we'll you. Take care of his Vivian that way, which is kind of neat. Let's do this again. Now we don't have any any gas in hand, but we do have the Planeswalkers, and we got him. To, you know, we got him at sixteen. So technically, it is a two-turn clock if nothing else was here to take him out. You know. Let's see what he does. Guardian. Okay. Interesting. So let's first go ahead and swing here. Right? Hmm. Four. Let's go ahead and swing here. Hit 
Hit him for right in the air. Then we will down tick Viv. The mysteries of life are mm. endless. We are not getting good hits off of these. Then play another Viv. Wild animals. Keep I this like. one. People, not so much. And from here. That way is minus. Jesus Four Christ, man. Fallen. Not our day for that, huh? You don't expect to whiff that often on these, that's for sure. Because all we needed was like another creature right here, and we've been totally fine just to chunk block a few places. But it's fine. We'll see what we do. So there's an argument to be made to just plussing up Vivian and having a life total where we just fly over him next turn anyways. But I think it was more of a order of benefit to try to reach out and get some blockers. Come on. <laughs> so if this is the case, then we will try to counter the one going after Viv because we can keep her alive and we feel feeling really good see what happens here if he wants to adapt I hope he adapts that'd be the best use of mana for us I believe I love a little bloodshed See what he's got from here. Ouch. No. Ouch, 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 ouch. Jeez, he just drew all of his deputies. Okay, well. Frustrating. Um. Put the counter there for now. You think nature is kind? God, this is this just sucks all around, doesn't it? And the sound bug, sound going out again. Sir Vivian's gonna die here, but we at least have the numbers to attack through some of this ship. <sighs> this is a very awkward game. Whiffing on two different Vivians in a row there was real bad. Well, two whiffs and then Land of Warriors. I've lost so much already. I won't lose more. Starting okay. over is the only way. Phoenix ain't too bad. Uh, so we will. Minus here, because we really don't care about this Vivian all that much anymore. We really just need to get it. You Golly. Like city brat. <laughs> it's like three or four Vivians just been whiffs, which is just terrible. I will not... We gotta go to attacks at least. If he wants to double block here, it's fine. If he doesn't want to double block, then maybe. Yeah. I mean, that's a two for one, so I guess we're okay with that. And if he goes to attack here to kill this Viv, and we could possibly even eat it, which would be cool. I'm assuming he's got like a Frilled Mystic or some kind of counter in hand, though. We'll see. Phoenix does its resolve. It 
results, which is good for us. He can adapt this. But I guess there's no reason anymore. That's four Grove Chamber Guardians, though. My goodness. Now, something like a Sarkon off the top would be good. A Lightning Strike. Any kind of removal would be good for that Deputy. We, we got a lot of outs here. To just win this next turn, but... It is most definitely awkward, no doubt. Strike now! Strike hard! That's not the uh, not the answer we were looking for. But getting the attack with Have the vigilance here is good. No still away if that's the case. At this point we kinda just let the Vivian do her thing. Think between all the lands we went through with the Vivians and the, you know, we got plenty of lands on the battlefield. We'd be in an okay spot. That's pretty good. So he's back up to six now, so he's not dead this next turn. He's probably got another Hydroid Crisis in hand or some. He's got to have answers at this point. What you got, bud? It's fair, he's fine, because we're not going to really do anything with that. Watch. The returning of Phoenix to my hand is super frustrating. Though we could just cast it with Flash, so it's not a huge deal. He's in the Think Tank. I'll protect you. Okay. Even a collision colossus will be good here. Let me show you what was lost. Ooh. So let's try it, shall we? Uh, cause that'll be four. That'll be eight. That'll be five. So that won't be enough to kill him, but. Maybe he just doesn't take the swing, who knows. So we're not going to give it Vigilance because we kind of need to end this shit this turn if possible. So go here and see what he does. Maybe he blocks, maybe he doesn't. We're hoping he doesn't. I'd like to kill him dead here. But if not, this should still keep her hydroid. What the fuck? Why would you not give me that? Oh, it's a fairy. I'm stupid. I'm a, I'm a real dumb. Let's go ahead and just look at the bottom. See if we can how hard we whiff again. You fight like a city brat. So we gotta take the Zerta. Oh, you craps out once again. So we'll counter down on this and pass the turn. See if he's got anything for us to instant speed this next turn. Druid's a good one. Man, that's fairy. Causing us some issues. But still, if we can, as long as he doesn't. No, I am not yeah. making this up as I go. Frustrating. Ooh. We can still colossus our goblinless next turn to be able to kill his druid and still live through it. Have you ever lost a home? Oh, so he gets to actually play with cards, which is cool. Let's see what happens. He's got plenty of mana, so no telling. Okay, well that should be okay. I think, right? Let's try to haste this out. And then we've got a Colossus this here. Or we do it here, that way it still kills his incubation juice. I think we do it here. If he wants to adapt, he casts a block here, he still takes six. 
Maybe we just get settled here. If I get settled, we'll go ahead and just concede. We got a lot of stuff to fight through, Zoana. So he will adapt. Uh, good game, opponent. Rough. That was just, I mean, that was just some rough luck there. I think we have a decent matchup against that, possibly. I've not played enough to really know. Uh, whiff it on that many bivs, though, and then just never finding a single piece of removal that we boarded in for that deputy. Pretty back-breaking. But we'll see what we got against old Jacob here. Opening hand is very, very sweet. That's what we like to see there. Play more L's and hope that he doesn't get shocked. Stinking, okay. So from here, I think we actually, since we have the land, let's Domery and then fight the Stinking. Duels of the Rush Nods. Let's just fight. Oh, let the blighters Next turn, we got a multitude of things that can come down. Chain will be pretty bad here. That would give us the big sad. Hey, three mana skewer is no, very okay you. though. Not by a long shot. Uh, from here, I guess we just war boss. Kind of forced him to have it. Because if he had a chain really, he would have definitely played it out last time. Start trying to go wide on the boy. Hopefully, we can draw a land this next turn so we can get a phoenix down. Oh. Not what I was expecting to see, but okay. Uh, no land. Shooks. Let's go attack here. If he wants to block this, we're more than happy with that. Yeah, so we definitely got the better end of that trade. And then we'll play a thick spellbreaker. Once we get land, we got Phoenix coming down. I think we're in decent shape here. But if we don't hit land, our removal for Steam can be pretty good. You don't want those to <laughs> run away. So let's go ahead. Whew, Arena, you having all kinds of trouble with my dude. Let's play as a Phoenix. Next turn, I imagine, unless he just goes super crazy, he probably just hastes out two Zeratog Goblins and try to kill him. Three mana light at the staging. What you usually want to see. Oh, baby. Let's go. Cool. Concave of Calamity. Was not expecting to see that whatsoever. Okay. So this game two, uh, Coils will come in, Brontodon will come in, uh, I guess the Nirvine comes in for that? I mean, Conclave is annoying, but it can actually wreck you. But I don't know if we really want Cinder Vines coming in. Shiv and Fire, yeah, for the Legion Warp also be good. Grow Chamber Guardian's too slow. Excuse me. And, uh... Maybe we don't even want the elves, do we? Uh, I guess the collisions is real funky here. And then from this, we'll do one Cinder Vines. Maybe take out one. I think like two Cinder Vines is probably good here. Fair is probably good. That looks, that looks like a deck to me. We'll try it out. See how it goes. Alright, Jacob, what you got round two? That's a, that's a good hand. We'll keep it. We'll be needing one more forest, but we'll get there. And we're cool with seeing a lava cool. Man, they've done something to this client that's just made it all janky, though. 
Oh, I could have shivin' fired that. I'm a dumb. But I think we'd rather... Yeah, I guess it's a lot of cool making the most use of our mana. I don't know what they bring in that's really going to make us want to... Like, most of the stuff's shivin' fireable anyways. Boy, Arena's is in all kinds of trouble. That will... Definitely eat the shivin' fire. We'll play Sir Sir Thickness or Tall Goblin. Pass the turn. Next turn we got Phoenix coming down. Electrostatic field. Where's that lava coal at? Dude, if you go on lava coal here, I'd be more than happy. Will that strike? Okay. So he's down to two in hand. Region War Boss. I still think we just play our Phoenix here. Hopefully he doesn't have a lava coil just chilling out and about. We're only at 19 right now, so we're healthy life total. That's a lava coil, isn't it? Skewer. So that's not as bad. If he wants a two for one, it still sucks we lose our Phoenix, but we always kind of down for that trade. That's just each opponent, so you can't even attack into it. So let's make us a dragon, shall we? Let us fight! <laughs> Magnificent! He's down to two cards. We know our two cards are gas, at least. Chandra. It's my turn. There's no problem. Fire can't solve. And we're just gonna let him. Have his fun with. He, he's so low on cards anyway. I don't think we try to worry about it right now. We got some filth in our hand. Uh, we can play both of these, which is cool. So let's do some of this. Are you ready? Let's do some of this. Let's move to attacks. Here, here. Whoa, MTG Arena, calm down, boy. Yep. We're cool with that. Let's next turn here, let's... Let's get down with the thickness. If you risk factors, this will take the damage, we don't really care. And that should be a game. If you decline, your opponent draws three cards. We'll take action. Buddy. Do it again. You dead. Okay. Okay. So from here on. All the attacks. We'll, I guess it doesn't really matter too much. It's a lot of damage. And there are still draws, I guess, that could kill us here, but I mean, it'd take him being extremely, extremely lucky. So we'll be taking 4, 8, 9, 10, 11, down to 1. Alright. Boom. Top deck of the game. Let's see if we can do 9 to us here. Nah, there's no draw. He has to then kill us here because we risk factors. He's got to pitch that anyways. So we'll take four. Uh, hmm. That actually is kind of tricky because maybe we do. I think we actually do let him draw here. Reason being, if we take four, we get into four. Uh, with Chandra, if he hits any kind of like three damage, three mana burn spell, then we just die off the electrostatic field. So I guess we uh, let him draw here this time. See what he's got. Franco doesn't affect us at all. Yep, that ain't gonna do it, my friend. Good game, Jacob. Let's try another one. The 
this guy has a bowl of skin, so you know we're in trouble because he paid. Uh, we got turn one elves into turn two Domery. We don't have any gas for it, but the potential's there. This, this, look how sweet that is, though. You can't deny how cool that is. Okay, second. So, okay, well. Interesting. Boom! But wait, there's more! Billy May is here! This is Mono Red again. Electromancer. Man, we ain't. We ain't doing a god dang thing right now. We'll go ahead and have this fight here. And hopefully, draw some gas here. We're just drawing on the lands right now. He's topping whatever he got there. Well, let's take a look and see. Phoenix in the yard. Okay, so that ain't too bad. Oh, have at it, boys. I think we'll go ahead and just... Actually, against this deck, you almost want to just plus it. Uh... That way they can't just shock it down or anything like that. And the four power if we need to fight like a Crackling Drake or something like that, we have the ability to. Let's see if we can get there. Storm count one. Storm count two. Rough. Okay. Well that's a lot better. And we'll still just... Hmm. It's almost more worth it just to make this fight, right? Reason being, if he goes off his next turn, he's going to kill her, uh... He's going to kill her Domery anyway, so as much as I don't want to do it... Let's do it like that. You can't let <laughs> them, like, the just combo, wombo combo off there. Coming he's only got three cards in hand now, so the chance of him having three just back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back spells... You think it's pretty small. Alright, so... See what we can draw. That was a pretty good draw. Uh, I think we're actually better off. Uh, we'll live through a few, few blocks here. See if he does it first. So we'll go to damage there. And then we'll end the turn. See what he's got. We'll actually take this for now. We're kind of holding on to this and wait because we could possibly use this as a We'll get out a jail free card. This will haste it out. Get him down to 10. The next turn, coincidentally, we have 10 damage. So, Let's see what we can do. I guess we can save. We can save our boy. Let's see if he's got the shock to finish it. Not that you usually really want it out of that there, but... I shouldn't attack with that Zerta, but that's fine. Clear the board there, and I guess we'll just hold on to this for the time being. I think we're in a pretty bad spot right now. Okay, that's a... that's much better. Let's close this before he has a chance to do anything. <laughs> Arena about poops his pants again. Pass the turn. Let's go to here. <laughs> Looks like he's got nothing, so. Do we get there? We get there, let's go. So I think that that game is very important in showing why. Like, it, it sucks to throw your Domery away, but getting rid of that, you gotta get rid of that Electromancer and make sure that it can't do anything. Over here, two Shivens, two Lava Coils, a Harpooner. Uh, Vivian might be decent too, but it might just be too slow also. Uh, yeah, I think we'd rather just be more proactive. Uh, first Warboss comes out, he's got Shock, so War Boss comes out. And Grove Chamber Guardians probably all come out. And we can throw one more card in here. Cinder Vines actually ain't too bad. So in two Cinder Vines. Go 
it in one of these. Hmm, do we want three? I think we're actually fine there. Maybe we want the fit the Vivian. Let's throw the Vivian in two and go down to two. Vivian takes care of those big old Drakey boys. All right, get there. Open hand, decent. He's got a shock. Let's play this and wait. Shock my face. Shock my face. No balls. Harpooner is a good draw there, but I'm sure Azura will probably die before we get a chance to do much of anything. Uh, let's go ahead and just play this, and of course we'll make it thick, because he's got a shock in him. Wouldn't mind seeing like an Enigma Drake or something here. Instead, he's just gonna be all awkward and shit. I guess I could just play Stomping Ground. We have nothing at three mana we could really do there. So he's gonna opt away. He's probably gonna try to find a way to get this Phoenix of his in the graveyard, I'm assuming. But let's see. That was one radical idea. Hmm, that's pretty good too. But I think we're still better off just faux Phoenix in here. Then next turn, we can give him the Domri beats. Alright, see if he, if he combos off. Yep. He's wombo comboing, guys. Oh, he's not wombo comboing. Unfortunate for him. So here we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. So we can do a little bit of this. Let's go ahead and attack. Him chunk blocking there is absolutely wonderful for us. Because he probably, I mean, he's still got that shock in hand, I'm sure he wants to use. What's that? Something smells rotten. Wait, Some that another thick spell breaker. Yep. Never saw it coming, man. He's got no Phoenix in the yard yet. I don't think, does he? Nope, no Phoenix in the yard yet, but he does have a way to get there with a radical idea. Okay. That boy's trying to discover. Phoenix was a good hit off there for him, no doubt. Probably draws him a land, but no, no dice there. So for here, we have four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. We've about got him dead. Heads is my bread and butter. Let's actually go ahead and just play this. Um, we're not gonna want to use. I mean, it's got reach anyway to, you know, defend against anything we're gonna need it to. I think we just saved these strikes to go to the face. Yep. That's two two phoenixes. Hopefully he taps out here for whatever he's gotta do. Electromancer's fine. So that's three phoenixes in the yard. Is what it is. Um, let's see how much we care. Damn. That's exactly what we did not want to fucking happen. 
Especially with them having two cards in hand, that really sucks. Alright, so he'll get three Phoenixes back. Let's see what he does before we... Hopefully he just attacks the shit out of us. All th attack with all of them. I dare ya. I dare ya. Cool. So I guess response, we will... Yeah, we'll take that. No blocks. Strike you. Strike you. Oh, it's just, we got so many different ways of doing this. We got to get our, our challenge done, right? Good game. He made it a game, though, that's for sure. And at this point, I probably need to get off. We'll play one more, though. We're so close to, you know, if we only get to gold. Hello, up, Nicholas. You suck. Uh, if we get the one more win, we'll be up to gold one, which would be pretty cool. So either way, we'll call it after this one. Let's see what we can do. Okay, better bloom. On the on the draw once again. Arena knows the dex is too too hot if we have to be on the play, so. This is This hand does not spark joy, but it's fine. All the little hasty boys. Interesting. So let's do this. And I guess we'll make a three. I'm gonna make this three three. Usually, want to haste out against Esper, but if, if we haste it out and he's got Cry the Canary, I'm like it just eats us alive. What a weird opener. We got three Zertals and three fucking Land of Orioles. Jeez. See if he's got the cry. Looks like it's a no. Uh, so from here, here I guess we just haste this out, right? Uh, sure. And the, the fact that he's mortifying that makes me think he does have a board wipe. So. Let's go ahead and haste this out, and then we're, we're, we're playing kind of all in to cry the Carnarian here, but I feel like he would have used it last turn if he had it. Let's get some beats on him. Two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage coming out next turn, if we don't get board wiped here. Just such an awkward start, like all the little bitty baby boys. Okay. So, let's try to... Let's try to Sarkon. See, because I think you gotta, you gotta counter that if you can. Okay. We'll swing for four more. Unfortunate. Jesus Christ. Um, two, four, six, seven, eight. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. God, he'd be so close to being dead. Can't play around subtle. If he has it, he has it. He's only down to two cards in hand. 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and we got lethal on board this next turn, so. Let's, uh. Do we just go for it? Let's just. I don't want to put all my eggs in one basket here. I'd still rather try to play the, the smart game. So let's go ahead and try to put this down. Okay. So here, play this. Yeah, because we kind of got, we got punished. We tried to just do the whole Collision Colossus thing this last turn. Fairy is annoying. Slow this down. That's more like it. 
it's not a huge deal. Uh, so from here, let's try to Colossus here. We'll haste this out. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we can still do this and swing lethal at him. All right, five, six, seven, eight. 19. Actually, screw it. Let's just, let's just swing it all at him. Cool. That way, even if he had like a moment of craving or something, he still would have had him dead there on board. Alright, so very awkward game one. I can't believe we actually won that one. Uh, game two, as far as what comes in, I guess we'll throw in Vivian, even though it's been bad for us. Uh, Ferrix will be good here. Cinder Vines, Rhythm of the Wild. And I believe that's about it. Vivian, possibly. As far as what comes out, uh, lightning strikes aren't very good here. Uh, let's start from the top. Collision's not good. Uh, lightning strike, not super great. We'll keep, I don't know, we can keep two in hand, I guess. And then, Grove Chamber can be good, but it can also be awkward. Do we just go down land warriors? I don't think we do. I think we really want to get these. We have so many bombs at three mana. Let's go down the Zerta goblins and go from there and just see how it works out for us. And maybe I should have took out the uh, Grove Chambers instead of the Zertas. That way they kind of get around moment craving and cry. But we'll see what we got. This is it's a hand. Not too bad. I would love this hand on the play. That's for sure. See if we can't get us down. A little, little spellbreaker action, which it looks like we can. Always haste him out. Let's see. Thought Erasure will take a Phoenix from us, which is annoying. Unless he wants to take, I mean, I'd love to take himself a spellbreaker. Let's just draw another Phoenix or draw something better. One, two, three, four. Bound Crag was not the draw we was looking for. Let's just haste this out. Uh, so we're pretty weak to a sweeper here. I think we just try to get the damage in once we can. Three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. He's dead on board if he doesn't have removal this next turn. So, Let's see if he's got the Kai's Wrath. He's looking at Lando else. Maybe he just has like a Mamba craving or something super weird. Totes okay with me. So from here, we'll do six to him. Let's go ahead, play that, and we'll hold up Lightning Strike. See if he's got it. Into the God Eternals is pretty good. Um, not sure if it's going to be enough though. Yeah, wasn't enough for him there. Great card though, still one of my favorite cards in standard. So yeah, we uh, we get four out of three out of four games there, I guess, or four. Out of, I don't know how many played. Whatever. Either way, gold two to go in one and a sit down is pretty good. Uh, and even that band deck one again. That's a that band deck's just sweet first off, and maybe it's just got a great matchup against us. But Gruel just seems to have pretty good game against a lot of things. And that is a very very good hit off just a random card here. My goodness, I think. Let's, let's see what pack we got here. And you know what? Before we even do, let's uh, let's order. Let's get like two more packs. Let's go crazy. Let's earn. We've earned it, right? Pack one. Pack two. Let's see. Let's see what old Lily's got for us. A finale of eternity is a dang good one to hit. I love that card. If you saw my Demir mid range videos, the thing was sweet. We get us a Elder Spell, which I've actually been thinking about trying some shenanigans with Super Friends just for funsies, so we'll see. Also, this may be playable in Gruul. Maybe it's a sideboard card against a Mirror Master Gruul picks up. And last, and probably the least, yeah, definitely at least, Command the Dread Horde. Alright y'all, that's all I got. Hope y'all enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe, all those shenanigans, and thank you all for the continued support. Love ya. See you next time.